we got even more Arlecchino drip marketing. This is character teaser, Arlecchino. Sleep in peace. Let's go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How do you explain this to normies? Like, hey, it's, it's, I love this game. Kitchen Impact. Oh, yeah, there's a new character coming up. Oh, yeah, what do people call her? Uh, they call her father. Father? Why? Well, you have to watch the animated short because, you know, she hated the mother. Now she's the father. Otosama. Those poor children. And you trying to help him? Oh? Emerging magnate Tartuffa, philanthropist and savior of the poor. Which probably means that he's scamming the poor. I haven't played the story quest, the Archon quest in Fontaine. Is this an actual reference to the quest? Do I have to play the quest in Notice Guy? I don't know. And yeah, I'm not sure if this is the original character from the animated short. You know the kid that we saved at the end? I thought that could have been Fremenet, but the eye color is apparently different. This kid, I don't really know. His hair got longer, right? There's no real confirmations. It could be. Who knows? <sighs> Look at Mr. Moneybags here. Look at those pores. They will never know the wonders of this guy's a comically bad Mr. Moneybags type, huh? Oh. Father! Oto sama! Oh, 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 yo! Listen! Listen, you can't do this for free! Do you understand how many dudes would actually pay money to get this kind of, you know, treatment from a, a girl just like stepping on you like that? Bro, Findom exists! Arlequino, what are you doing? You can't do it for free! Oh, spit on me too, please! God damn, bro. Fremenet. Yeah, if you look at Fremenet and the kid from the animated short, the eye color, right? Totally different. The hairstyle, maybe you could have made some kind of connection, but maybe it's just some random kid, man. Otosama. <laughs> yeah? She just took all his money? Dumb. <laughs> Let's go! So Arlequino is such a... It's still interesting because she's like a harbinger and you would just expect harbingers to be kind of evil. But you've seen with Child how it's not so straightforward. Same with Scaramouche, right? There's this some kind of like emotional pull that you have. Because like the villains, they're kind of complex. They're not really good or bad, you know? It's it's a lot more nuanced. Arlequino's like a pretty good person running on orphanage. Secure the funds by just like robbing and just stepping on this, you know, rich dude. And just like, you know, helping out the poor, right? Is every harbinger you're gonna have one of those backstories, even Dotore? Also, it's impossible that this kid was the beginning kid in episode. Actually, we don't know because I just realized it's it's a girl, not a boy. But then, who knows who the kid was in the end of the animated short? Once I'm better. Are you going to get better? You didn't get better! How many burials has Arlequino have to do, bro? Okay, so newspaper basically say, you know, the philanthropist has been outed. Okay, let's fucking go. The ring's probably the philanthropist as well, unless this is a reference that I'm not, I don't know. Those who parade their virtues often do the most evil. 
So true, bro. The people that are so outspoken about justice, morals, ethics, man. Sometimes they're the ones that's like projecting the skeletons that's hidden in their closet, trying to make it look like they're the freedom warriors, the justice warriors. But at the end of the day, maybe this is like an atonement thing that they're doing, man. So what does that mean? Assholes are good then? Right. I think Snezivna is the family name for all the orphans here, right? It's like there's a male and a female Snez, some kind of family name. This is sad, man. Dude, these Arlequino trailers are so somber and sad, but it kind of shows you like just how much of a good person she really is. And you know what this is going to do? <laughs> Make you want to pull for C1 or C2 with the exclusive weapon. I don't know, but that's it for me.